so we on the last part that we shared we, we were sharing about and you were just we were just talking about even esther on how um even the relationship and the dynamics of hadassah um going in to be called esther and what esther means as a star mm -hmm. you're just sharing that her name changed means and, a star and uh, so that dynamic of and then encountering the king and we know that exercise is more than it's actually a title and and it's a very lengthy that's a teaching in itself because it's a very lengthy uh, uh title uh, much frequency established in that name um but so we were sharing about the light in the garden and the dynamics of becoming and i still want to bring this forward that everything we're sharing is this revelation based on where we are and the spirit shared with me a while ago about how do you reach to restore if there's ignorance to neglect and it kind of struck me as odd that saying until i the spirit kind of pulled it apart for me to say wow we don't even realize that we're in something to come out of something right and so that's the process of, of journeying that we seek clarity but full clarity is is revealed in steps and procedures and measures and because um, i don't think any of us could full, fully comprehend a full glass and so that's why distillation uh, of, the, of of what we're doing is, is so critical because this is what the spirit did for us so and then i just wanted to share that there's a couple ways to look at this um and um perspective is to the each individual and we can either look at it or as it and that's depending on what we have partnered with as a summational total to be who we are in our moment and so again um um you know that's a revelation that is from a higher to lower looking at it um would be gazing at the revelation from a distance and, and pondering on the wonderings and the purposes of it and then as it it would be what we would call the becoming being completed and then we're speaking as the resonance and my heart in this is to release the frequency if i see it therefore i can become it and that's that's <coughs> that's my heart and therefore in my overflow and in my revelation my heart is to release this into the earth as light as a bolt of lightning i release this into the earth regardless of who he sees it i just i release it as a measure of opportunity and a measure that would combat what is necessary for many more to come into the likeness of intention so with that i want to start with in what i gave you as a file psalm 6820 in, in that's the file though but we're going to the beginning of this and we're going to start with the apocalypse and in the beginnings, we talked about really Hallel, and I want to shed light, no pun intended, but it is uh, on the name Lucifer. And we can see here that the origin of the name Lucifer is Latin, and the meaning of the name Lucifer is bringer of light. And so we can, my heart is just to bring clarity. So, and I'm not telling anyone anything, I'm simply <coughs> bringing measures forward that we can um, appropriate that we can process however we need to process and again i mean no fear attached to this i don't bring anything <clears throat> of distortion um it is simply frequency that is being extracted that we're able to um, then maybe get a better perspective to then really assist us in what has been hidden and obfuscated and what needs to be revealed so we can ingather the right pieces to become the measure of intention. So that we can rewrite a narrative that has been presented to us in false imagery and fear mm -hmm. that has controlled and manipulated us and has kept us away from the things that we need right through the ingathering for the summation of total of our being right exactly and, and this is this is definitely one of them yeah and, and there's many because it again how do you express all when all is connected everything is fractals of all and all we can do is, is get a couple of <coughs> fractals and present them the best of our ability because the great light is very bright so we're just we're just shedding fractals of light which is information which is information it's just a transference of wealth this is what's coming as right. a transference of wealth and this and is in not not in the physical monetary sense no no it's not that's a lesser reality that i have no desire for right. but you know we need it to survive but that's not really my desire um because we want to thrive right i'm Jesus sharing Christ. with this that we kind of inserted another revelation of of really um um the armageddon and and 
and apocalypse and i don't know where it's going to play into things but we haven't actually shared that yet okay so that's coming probably behind this it one is. so that's why it i is. went this way first and so we kind of inserting this one because the last revelation we just shared was actually about a month ago or so and but it takes a long time to process this to, to put it out correctly so well and also to not inundate people with too much information right you can only portion it out in pieces so that it can be digested properly. Right. So now we have the word apocalypse again, and we're going to extrapolate this out deeper. So let's go into this revelation. So apocalypse, an uncovering that was covered up. What was stolen? Now we're talking about the theft, and we've already done a, a revelation releasing about the theft in the garden. Yes. This is based off Greek uh, number 602, and the first occurrence is in Luke 2.32. And also, uh, the, word for revela uh, the, the first word of this is in Revelation 1.1. And this is what it is. So now let's go into the verse. So there we have the light of revelation to the Gentiles. And we can just walk this down. Now we have light, phos, for revelation, apocalypse, apocalypse in, yep. of the Gentiles and the glory of the people of you, Israel. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. there's a lot in that, right? Yeah. Glory, revelation, yeah. light. Yeah. And then and we can take this personally because it's talking about you as Israel and everyone that that is in the, the Hebrew concept or Aramaic concept realizes that Jacob, an old nature, wrestled the night and in the dawn of the morning he prevailed. Exactly. So when they say that he wrestled and the angel of the light said, I must go because it was the morning of the dawn, the dawning angel, that Jacob wrestled the night and really outside so, so really that's wrestling darkness he wrestled darkness which is an absence of light which is the absence of information right really it's only because outside of the parentheses of time light and dark are a one frequency right only in the parentheses of time have we been giving the signs the moon and the sun to know what light and dark would be we right. wrestle through the dark of, 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 of what is unknown but in the revealing of light actually in full circle we become the dark again because that's where we become the deep and that's where we become those that shed light back on the dark exactly it's a circle. so they bring light information to those that are living in darkness that don't have the information for inward formation so all jacob really did yes absolutely so what jacob really did is he wrestled his own dark ignorance his own right <laughs> how do you reach to restore his ignorance, ignorance to neglect, neglect right. so he he realized that i'm neglecting something i must wrestle my neglect bring it forward into the present in the now and i call it the future light future light so I can remember right or he did remember he did therefore remember. He, he is light and then that's why he had the change nature and the ch name change so we're gonna talk about because that. he prevailed over the darkness he prevailed over the darkness and so in that whole story it's a very powerful story that he wrestled the night but, yeah and so the day prevailed so now yeah. let's see what the day is so the origin of the name we're talking about Lucifer now do you want to read this yeah, <clears throat> so in 1640s, it's a substance or organism that shines of itself. Latin from... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is this is the definition of potassium or phos uh, phosphorus. 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 Okay. So phosphorus. This so is the, defini the definition of phosphorus. Yeah. In 1640s, it was a substance or organism that shines of itself from Latin phosphorus, light bringing, also the morning star, in sense attested in English from 1620. From Greek, phosphoros, meaning star, literally, torchbearer. From phos, light, which is a contraction of phos, light, and daylight, related to phainine, <laughs> to show, to bring to light. From pi, to shine. Phoros, bearer, for, from ferin, to carry, to bear children. All right. well, that's interesting from pie root bear to carry also to bear children absolutely because we are light bearers and the whole process from genesis 1 1 is choose light choose family that right. bear a sheet means because it's to build family choose the way of family through it, love through love that's yeah. that's the first the, the bear a sheet right yep. and so you're saying that this is also an ancient name for the planet of venus this is an ancient name for the planet of venus wow and so we look at even the name of venus we can see the origin of the name of venus from latin venus the loved ones and beloved which is uh thought to be from the indo-european root and i'm not going to go into that but it's from desire we don't need to go because i root a lot of this stuff right. out this way if just but again it's good research it's really good research and and it, as we you're going to see what we're sharing here is more this is going to be more of a platform of of um uh revelatory 
construct. We're going to have some verses in here to extrapolate from, but mostly this has just gone into researching, so it's going to be more of a platform of mechanical mixed with, I'm very spiral, you know, as you know, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a tornado, but this is an ordered tornado. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> you are revealing the divine feminine of the scripture aspect of it through spirit versus right. the linear masculine style. Right. So, so let, that's why yours is looped around and takes in so much information with it, just like a right. tornado picks so, up and grabs information and, and is all in one. So what I try to do <clears throat> is, is when I'm doing my research, I, I try to extend out and then extrapolate from from a far reach and then I bring, bring it, back it back in, in. right? And, yeah. and I whirl this way. And so you're going to see similarities and things that I've seen that I bring in to say, well, if it's this and it could have potentially be this, I'm not saying, and I'm not telling I'm, oh, well, I am saying, but I'm not telling you, I'm sharing by my revelation, what you do with it is what you do with it. Right. But so, so let's look at this word from, from the origin of the name Venus, which means the loved or beloved. And, and I can tell you that, and I put, uh, Davidian, which really is perhaps David, because David's mean David's name means a beloved one. Right. And so we see the Dalit Vav Dalit, mother and father's door pierced in between, is how you become a beloved one. Okay, and we don't need to go into too we're not gonna go into too de too deep on this one right now here. This is simply there for a tether. And then we can see that Dod, a beloved one, right? Because that's mm -hmm. the root of David. Mm -hmm. Okay? Cool. Uh, let's go down a little further now. Now this I put in here for anyone that wants information. This is just really the um, uh, a source of of atomic number, atomic mass, uh, electron configuration, and the history, what the name is, and so we can say that we can. Like, so you, so you see, I'm not pulling it from. I'm pulling it from sources, so we can just see like the history of it, general properties of this. Um, you can see that it burns when exposed to air. Oh, you're not there yet. You're at the top. Yeah, I was just. So it's kind of so, this is kind of redundant. This is just, okay. This is redundant. So this is just more information right. to be able to. So right. okay, got it. Right, but you can see that the there's just some, there's some properties in here that happens to to phosphorus, right, when it's exposed to air, which would we know would be ruach, that but on the higher dimension. So, and and I find it interesting too that phosphorus, um, potassium, and nitrogen are all basic elements of fertilizer. When you look at the dynamic and when you do the food research that's attached to this, this is all basic food groups of, of meats, um, um, dairies, you know, and I'm talking organics and non-genetically modified organisms as far as what we're right. talking about. But it tethers to uh, nuts and seeds are very high in phosphorus, potassium, and, nut, and nitrogen. They're all very common in their, in their source of of frequency of what they produce mm -hmm. and and potassium is another way to say it's actually its old origin is potassium it's where we get the word in Hebrew and Aramic where we get um, um, the sackcloth ash when you go root it out it actually extrapolates out as pot ash and they would have known that that's why they cover themselves in ash in the ash heap because it comes from that it's actually broken down minerals and it's called potassium <clears throat> but we call it potassium and so these are all elements and minerals and nutrients that we need to be as living trees in the earth that allow us to grow this is fertilizer to us light right. is fertilizer right and uh, then again so we can even connect taking ormus as well as something that helps boost that within us. Right. Right? Yeah. Because, by the way, I'm totally feeling the Ormus right now. Yeah. So <laughs> I what, just feel I got supercharged. Oh, my gosh. So we're compressing light. Woo! We're compressing light right now because that's the kuf in Hebrew. So we're compressing light because, really, that's what we are. We're light beings. And in the parentheses of time, we're, we're compressed light and we're slowed down and we're kind of congealed. Our mm -hmm. blood is just congealed light. Right. So, so now we're going to move through this first, and now this is the first. Um, this is the first occurrence that I chose to use. But the next word is actually from that verse that we just looked at. That um, that. Oh, a light for revelation. Luke, Luke two thirty two. The first word, a light, is five four five seven. And so, 
this dynamic, so now we have, that's what I said, we're going through the Greek so we can extrapolate the Greek because okay. it's in the Greek, and then we're going to extrapolate out. Right, because that's where the name Lucifer came from. I'm trying to get everyone connected. The most <laughs> people read a Greek or English Bible, and so we can now connect it to the Hebrew and the Rame to bring deeper revelation and clarity. Sure. Okay. And so we can see this, that to bring the light. We just talked about that. Well, to bring phosphorus, right? Yeah. To light and to shine. So here's what that first light, 5457. And it's luminous to shine, to make manifest, especially by rays, light. And its first occurrence is the great light and those saw great light of death light is sprung up because all this is take all up uh, so all this is about this whole language of light is we're, we're, we're the, the whole purpose of what's coming is those that have prepared the vessel of light will have the full sting of death removed Exactly. And so, but again, I can't extrapolate that out until I extrapolate this part of it because I can show you. Well, that this is all foundational. This is all foundational yeah. because we're going to shed light on Anubis too. And so, because he's he walked as death because he comprehended that he was death. He was as the frequency of death. Therefore, he took the sting out of death because he was comprehending that I am light. Right. As Jacob would have known, and too. And so, in other words, he was helping people to cross over right. to st take the sting out of it. But the lesser. But they, and, and, uh, the lesser narrative, but they actually made it be something to be fearful. Right. So let's so let's extrapolate this out. Yeah, and we'll get to that hopefully down here a little further, and we're going to show this. So now we have Luminous here, and these, um, these, these verses I put in here just to associate so you can see that we can connect it. Go like, oh, it means that and that and that. Okay, so, so now we have these verses, yeah. and we can see that that... This is now going to go to 5316 and to 5346, connecting what these are from. Compare these words. Right. Um, and so now there's another one. You are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now we're going oh, to... Oh, that's the one, a city set on the hill. Right. Yep. Yep. So, because now, well, because, well, what is this city? Because remember, we're talking about um, <clears throat> Hillel still. We're talking about Hillel, about really about the brightness and the light. Which is where we actually started the last teaching series about revealing the light in the garden. So but we didn't I'm, really actually show it. So now all I'm doing really is sharing the light on the light. I'm going like, well, let's... <laughs> shedding light right? on the light. Because everything needs to be done in through steps and gentleness yep. and, and approaches from a, from a gentle way because this is, you know, some of the stuff uncorks a lot of people and they go like, oh my goodness, just the word Lucifer, like apocalypse, like that's a spooky word. But I'm trying to show you that all it means is that it's a light presence and Lucifer is Latin and there's no need to even use Lucifer. Why do we even use it? You know, so it, we're trying to remove that sting of that potential. Well, because they wanted to take away the power right. by putting it in a language that didn't have the frequency that would produce change within you. Right. So now we have this word light that's morphing down. Now it's going into declare and to say. And it's going right back, right? Because it's rooted. Right. I'm only using the roots of what it's telling me so, to so use. So this would be like Hebrew of Amar. Right. So now, and then we can associate this first occurrence, Jesus said to him. So now it's connected to the, to the, to the, the Greek Jesus, right? Right. He spoke. Now light is attached to his word, which is directly connected to phos, which we're going to connect, right? And now it's to say, to lay, systematic, to set di di discourse, property to break silence. And its first occurrence was born Jesus, who is called Christ, all connected to phos. Yeah, I do want to say I think it's interesting that it's um, it's connected to Lego. Yeah. So the Legos that kids play with. The building blocks. The building blocks. Right. So they build and create. Yeah. Comes from this. Yeah, a lot of a lot Isn't of. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, a lot of the words. Yeah, we're <laughs> building something. The kids don't realize, and it's hid from us. So teaching them to use the creativity right. as a co-creator to build. Right. As is, but it's never explained to them to say. Okay, you're doing this as a child, but when you mature and you have the language of light and love, just imagine what you can build with it. Right. This is just a, a, a child's manifestation yeah. of uh, what you can do with your own external reality by building it. Yeah, unfortunately, they, they keep that. They rather just have us play with it and not I know. build it. But that's exactly. What, but, anyways, but that's where they get Keep us from. in the childlike right. state instead of the maturation of ascension. Light is the building blocks of, yeah. of ascension, and we're trying to share with people that you. We want to be removed from death, then we need to build with the blocks of intention. So therefore, we're going to build light and love right. and 12, life. There's 12 strands of the DNA. So